Hi! So this is a bit of a random video but I'm quite excited about it and thought it would be a good idea to share it because I'm not very knowledgeable on the topic and it would be nice if people could give some pointers if they see this video and if I carry on with this it would be a nice um, thing to look back on and see how like unknowledgeable I am in this. <laughs> So this morning I had the nostalgic feeling of opening Moshi Monster cards because I used to collect them as a kid and I really missed opening the cards and collecting them and trading the duplicates with my friends and stuff. So I decided that I was going to collect Pokemon cards now, which um, I've wanted to do for a little bit, but it's, it's costly. Um, so hopefully I will not become addicted to it and hopefully I'll just collect like a few and keep a little small collection um, for now but yeah that's what I've decided to do. I did spontaneously order a pack of 10 mystery cards off Depop and today we went out shopping and I managed to get this Pokemon Sword and Shield Chilling Rain official pack which is exciting so I thought I would open it here and see if I can sort of get to grips with what all the cards mean. I have looked at a few YouTube videos on like pricing of um, the cards and how to like read them. I know sort of like what some of the symbols mean. So I'll see if I can understand all of that. But I never watched all of the like Pokemon series. So I'm not too knowledgeable about Pokemon either. So fingers crossed I will pick up all the knowledge I need to collect these, even if it is just like a small hobby. My pack of 10 mystery cards is supposed to come next week, but I am too impatient to wait to open these. So I'll open these and then next week I will open the other ones. Okay, so I'll try and unbox these as best I can. Um, I don't know if this is a good pack to have, but that's what they had at the shop I went to. Um, This is going to take me a very long time to do. Why are these so difficult to open? Okay, so. I saw somewhere that you have to do one, two, three, four, and then do that or something when you're unboxing. So let's see if that does anything. But yeah. So, we have a water energy, I think. Probably shouldn't show you all the rest of the cards yet. So we have a blue, blue energy. We have a water energy, I think. Fire resistant, fire resistant gloves. A Leron, Leron, there. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but a Leron. A Peony. A Rockruff, a Mareep, I, I think Mareep's really cute so I'm glad that I got this even if it's not very good. And a Grookey, Grookey is adorable as well. <laughs> um, I tend to pick my Pokemon based on cuteness and um, yeah I do very much like Grookey. Porygon, a Golette. Got Gullet, um, a Snorrent, I think that one's shiny actually, let me just, yeah that one's um, a holographic, a reverse holographic I'm pretty sure, um, I might have gotten that wrong, I don't know, and I think this is the last one, and a Weave Weavile, Weavile, Weevil, what, <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, those are the cards that I got. I have absolutely no idea if these are good or not, but I have them. So yeah, I will unbox my other ones next week. Okay, so it's a few days later and as you can see I got a few more cards. Um, I bought and opened some new Pokemon packs 
because I was hanging out with my boyfriend and we decided to go get some and open them together. Uh, that's why I didn't open them on camera, but I got the cards that I'm showing now. Um, I ended up getting the Sword and Shield Battle Styles Blister Pack. Over the past few days, a 50 pack of secondhand cards also got delivered to me. I am waiting on another pack of 10 secondhand cards, but at the moment they haven't come in yet. I should be getting a set of nine sleeves soon so hopefully those come in pretty quick because i would quite like to get all of my cards organized now that i actually have a lot more than i anticipated in the first place but yeah these are the cards that i got i ended up getting a foil eevee in with this pack which was the promo card and a cute little holographic coin to go with it Okay, so this is the 50 pack of secondhand cards that I got. I got it off Depop, but I'm pretty sure the seller doesn't have any more um, secondhand cards. They do completely different things, but I'll try and link them in the description anyway. So yeah, I haven't opened these yet. It might make a lot of noise, so bear with me. Okay, I'm really trying not to spoil anything for myself, but I'm pretty sure I just looked at the best card in the pack. So I'm just gonna ignore that. Um, but yeah, we have these cardboard things. I'm not really sure what they are, but they came with it. So if anyone could let me know, please put that in the comments. And now time for the actual cards. Okay, so we have a Feebas, a Toxel. Oh my God, this, these are so difficult to hold. There's so many. A Yan Mega, Team, Team Yeltow, Celebi, Ramorant, Zarud, oh my god, I need to get these in the um, frame. Pokenav, another Pokenav, Rescue Stretcher, Level Ball. I will reiterate that I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to cards, but I am hoping that I learn, so I have absolutely no idea if any of these are good. Uh, Ball Guy, Cachmere, Tutel, Spinarak, um, Japanese card I'm guessing. It looks quite good. It's a holographic, so that's quite nice. Um a coughing, a Hatena, Cramorant, I think that's another duplicate, Rotom, Cacnea, another um duplicate, Tutel, another duplicate, again another Japanese one. I don't know what this says. <laughs> a Sobble, a Great Ball. A Skrelp, Oop. Oops. an Experience Share, Remoroid, Fort Mantis, another Japanese one. Wow, these are really nice cards. A Fog Crystal, Cast Form, Lorantis, a Special Energy. That's quite cool. Another Japanese one. I'm guessing, I don't know what language this, language this is actually. I'm guessing these are Japanese. Diggersby, Mawile, Jangmo, a Venusaur Spirit Link, Poliwag, another Japanese one, I think that's a Rattata, a Meltan, a Fossil, a Potion, Pilo Swine, Stario, Snorunt, Remoraid, oh, this one's upside down, a Psyduck, a, oh wow, okay, this is a Mewtwo, I think, that's exciting, the, I think this is the card that I saw just now, but it had a Psyduck over the top, so I am glad that I didn't actually see the Mewtwo, but yeah, that's good. I don't know if this is a good card or not, but I know that this box is quite expensive. So yeah, I also know that Mewtwo is a very good Pokemon. So hopefully this is a good card. Okay, so it's the next day and we got the next pack of secondhand cards. This is a 10 pack that I got off Depop. I will link the seller in the description because I'm pretty sure they have um, a few more of these available and my display sleeves came as well so um, it's exciting that I can start organising them now um, but yeah let's open this pack 
Looks like we've got some stickers in here. If I can get them out. Okay, so uh, they were quite tightly packed in there, but I've got them out now. So we have this Ash and Pikachu sticker, and I don't actually know what this Pokemon's called. Um, it's really cute, and um, we've got that one too. Yeah, onto the card, we have a Lapras, a Kikuna, an Aaron, a Coffin, a Rot, a Curlia, a Celio, a Sobble, a Scorbunny, a Snova, a Mareep, and a Haunter, and a Ghastly. Doesn't look like there were. There weren't any hollows in there, but there may have been a few rares that I didn't look at. But yeah, that's what we have. I'm pretty sure there are a few duplicates in here, and I think most of them are from the pack that I've just been collecting from, which is quite good. So yeah, that's exciting, and I can't wait to organise these.